Hi and welcome to Calculator Tutorial Develop Using Python. Now I'm going to show you guys how this works. So let's say 3 multiply by 9 plus maybe 2. There we go. Okay. We can clear it and we can even divide if we want. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take you guys into part and development environment and I'll put one of these together. So let's start by creating a new project. So I'm going to call this, I'm going to call the following, let's say import from, tick enter, all of the following, alright, so in there, let's declare let's create our class, I'm going to call this class calculator there we go, enter a column there so what I will do next is I'm just going to run this up so I'm going to come right down here and let's just run that up there we go now let's come up here and I'm going to create my function here I say this function that's defined let's initialize that and I'm gonna just call that self dot uh, comma root there enter column now let's say self dot root right out here I've just copied that come here and just enter comma self dot root equals root there we go so self dot root I'm gonna take care of my dimension that I intend to use or first thing first let's just give it a name self dot root dot title equals calculator so let's enter calculator in there and close that now let's define the geometry sub dot root dot geometry and the geometry is going to be I'm going to say 300 and 312 by 390 plus 500 plus 100 so that I can get it dead center so let's save this and you see what um, just what I was just talking about so I'm going to save that here somewhere on my desktop so right here I'm just gonna call it calculator Okay, save that. Okay, let's try the options here. I think there's an error here and here as well. So I'm gonna copy this and just try the things up. Get that in there. Close that semicolon here. That will be a comma. Okay, now let's just run it and you guys see how it looks like. There we go. That's the framework defined. I'm gonna close that. Now let's come right down here. So the first thing I like to do is to declare the following variable. I'm gonna call that add number equals string. And I will also declare the following. So I've declared operator as a global variable and I've also cleared the operator there. So the next thing I like to do is just to create all my well, first thing first, let's just create my framework. I'm going to just call that frame. I intend to use that for my buttons. Frame and let's enter self in there. So that's going to be self dot root. There we go. Self dot root comma there. 
so that is the framework defined and the next thing I'd like to define right now is going to be let's add the display widgets I'm just going to call that txt let's come down here that's dot txt display this display widget is going to be using entering that's going to be entry so that's going to as well be inside my frame here all right that's spelling come in here and just put this in here and the next thing is let me sort out my font font and the font size that i'm going to use or the font style let's settle for area so close that then I'm going to say about 19 comma and let's make that bold there we go close that as well so we enter comma there and there so let's save it okay so I'm going to run it but before then let's just enter equals here there's meant to be an equals there so let's run it and see there we go and that is my entry widget so I'm going to close that now the next thing I like to do is to create the buttons okay I have my very first button there so I'm going to run it first of all we have to save it first and that is button 7 there but nothing is happening okay have a good look at button 7 the lines of code for button 7 so let's just speed up that very row there we go so let's run it now and see how that's going to look like as well there we go the very first row is taken care of so all I just need to do now is I'm going to copy all of that and paste it right below and just change the num the numbers on it around okay let's move this here there we go and there we go the second roll of the buttons are taken care of so let's run it and you guys see how that looks like there well there's nothing happening so let's take care of the other row right there guys those are the lines of code for the buttons I'm just going to add this to each of those columns so this is the other column there or the other row I mean it's not a column it's a row there we go right on here so let's separate the entry widget from the buttons. So save that and run it. There, but nothing is happening. Okay, we now need to take care of the functions. Alright, close that. Let's take care of the functions anyway. So I'm gonna just close that. We got the lines of code again. Entry widget frame and buttons okay so right up here underneath my declaration I'm going to declare the following for my function so let's say function number underscore input and that is going to take in number as the argument okay and I'm going to specify my global variable again so let's just grab that and I'm going to dump it right in here and the next thing is underneath here I'm going to say the operator itself equals operator plus the number as you can see that's the number right there because it's going to take in some values correct that so come in here and just say 
equals operator paste that in there and that will be plus let's say string number there we go and I will then say add that's a local variable there dot write that okay let's just correct this I'm gonna copy this paste it in there now. copy and just paste it here there okay so that's the first one taken care of and this very number so this very number input here I'm going to use it here inside the buttons let's say comma command equals lambda that will be a b a okay column number input this very one here copy that and paste that in here and what value am I going to enter this is button 7 so inside button 7 I'm going to enter bracket in there and there so if I run this now hopefully that should show give me button 7 there we go look at that alright but this one's nothing is happening so what I'm just going to do now is just copy and paste come in here copy this paste it right in here that will be for 8 that will be button 8 and this will be button 9 this will be plus sign alright Enter speech mark for the plus sign. I'm going to do that again. Speech sign plus. There we go. And let's just speed that up. I believe you guys get the whole idea now. Let's run it first though. 7, 8, 9 plus. That's good. But nothing is happening. Right. So let's speed that up for the other buttons. Okay, all the buttons now have the numeric value and the operators, various operators has been added. Okay, so the only bit that is left now is to take care of the clear and the equals. That's the clear there, and this will be the equals. Okay, let's come yeah. let's take it up here so right underneath here I'm gonna take care of declare I can just even copy this and change things around so I'm gonna change the name to let's say display clear Display clear or display cleared right yeah and this operator I'm just gonna clear that and underneath there I'm going to say insert nothing here that's taken care of so let's call this here come right down here okay right here we're going to use our lambda to take care of that as well just copy all of these command column equals lambda column display clear so that's taken care of so let's come into equals so there's a comma paste that in there as well but i don't have the name of equals yet let's just make that up I'm gonna call it equals yeah 
equals function right. so let's copy this that will be the, the function that I'm going to declare up there so let's go right up here now come down here and just say method equals function there we go and I just need to now copy my operator paste it here now um, what else do I need to do is to create a local variable I'm gonna call that sum up sum up equals string evaluate operator okay copy the operator and just paste it inside there and after that I'm gonna add this and clear the operator come down here paste this here and the value that will be in there will be sum up it's not clear it's just sum up and operator will we have to clear it now come right down here and paste yeah okay so I'm now going to try it out so those are the functions declared for each of those buttons I'll take it down I have my framework here and that's my display here all of the buttons rule 1 rule 2 3 and 4 and you can see I use lambs there to call all of my buttons here I didn't use lambda for these ones anyway the equals and the display are two called the lambda lambda okay so let's run it and you guys see what I'm talking about but take take note of the equals function and the displayed clear function there's no lambda in there so let's run it Five multiply by two is ten. Clear. Eight plus six plus forty-five. There. And that's how you create your own calculator using Python. So with that, guys, I'm gonna call it the end of this tutorial. I suppose you guys enjoy it, and you all have a nice day now. Bye for now.